Hello my friends and thank you for dropping by and to enjoy a shave with me. Today's shave is brought to you by Fine Platinum. Uh, this is one that I haven't used for a while and uh, I showed you the uh, aftershave thing because it came as just a regular puck so it's in a nondescript uh, tin. We're continuing our our sea trials with the Grey Dog brush with the this is a Maggard high density fan um, fan knot. Um, this is this fourth fourth time I've had it out, other than just doing test lathers and messing with it. And uh, beard removal is using a Swedish razor. This is a Jern Belaget uh, five eighths. Uh, I pre-stropped it uh, 30 and 60 so it's it's ready to go um, so let's have at it I've, pre I've made my uh, lather ahead of time to kind of cut our time down a little bit we had a wonderful call last night went a little longer than I expected but and I had to get to bed so I could Get up this morning. I had a doctor's appointment, and uh, that went pretty much as expected. He uh, covered a lot of a lot of ground last night in the meeting. There's all just all kinds of uh, conversation. It was really nice. You guys who. Uh, don't get in on the Zoom calls. I uh, encourage you to do that because they're they're nice and, and you get a chance to know the other guys on the on the cadre. The soap is just wonderfully creamy. I think I got the water right on this time. And let's see how this turns out. I'm letting the corners of my mustache grow, so this part here is I'm kind of. Being careful not to knock it off. I think I'm going to bring back the handlebars. Um, that shouldn't take real long. I've been about two weeks growing the sides out and I got oh I'd say a half inch growth so another couple weeks I'll be starting to train them to to, to twirl a little bit as I've gotten older though those gray Whiskers are a little bit more difficult to to train. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, in younger days, all I'd have to do pretty much was run a comb through them and they'd automatically just whoop, uh, curl right up. But um, The gray ones, I may have to add some space age polymers. At least for a while until they get used to being bent in a particular direction. As some of you may know, or many of you do, uh, our brother Chad is a referee, and he was showing us pictures of the 
personal protective equipment that has been developed for uh, wear by referees so that they can have the whistle in their mouth and it's kind of an ungainly thing to see. You know, I think I got this soap a little bit dry. I may add a little moisture. Um, a touch on the uh, little risque looking. I may just get them buy myself one just to have on hand to document the craziness that is going on with this plague we'll look look back on this is or historical times or hysterical really um, we'll look back on these things and the weird inventions that we come up with like like that mask and we'll have a good laugh at it Otherwise, you know, if we don't, there's a lot of history that could be forgotten. So, I think we ought to, I even want to write some stuff down about the weirdness. How people are mad at each other and, you know, especially just before an election. You will have a chance to see what people are thinking one way or the other. And as you know, history is written by the victors so a whole nother point of view could disappear after after a, you know by the victors who write the books so it'd be neat to record what everybody thinks I uh, had an opportunity to visit a friend of mine who she's a massage therapist and uh, she's starting to become a practitioner in alternative medicines and she wanted to try out a detox detoxifier or detox machine thing uh, running through a foot bath and I gotta tell you, it was it was something. I sat in the feet in a pan of water for 30 minutes while this little electronic watch calls it was in the water with my feet. And it was bubbling, and it didn't bother my feet any. I didn't feel anything unusual, except there were the water turned yellow real fast. And I could see little trails of oddly colored water coming off my feet. Eventually the water turned kind of a dark yellow orange color. But well, it's pretty grotty looking actually. I took pictures available upon request. I'm not going to post them because they are pretty grotty. I would at first discount some of the stuff in the water to maybe the electrodes, you know, like it might be an, an iron, iron leaching into the water like rust or something. But when fairly large hunks of other materials start showing up in the water, then I kind of took notice. I don't know how. this kind of stuff works but uh, 
it was certainly something. There was something in the water. I got. That's all I know. She swears up and down. She's been doing herself, and over time the color of the stuff that's in the water has changed for her so maybe there's something to it I'm not gonna close the door but, uh, I, uh, I did take the time to read about it a little bit practice my Google foo and I was prepared for the water to turn color because the uh, electrodes but the the chunks and stuff that that caught me a little off guard so we'll see and then we had a lovely time playing with the horses Just enjoying each other's company at a fair distance. Except when she was working me over and we were all masked up. the grain down here. You guys who are uh, ambidextrous shavers might find my technique a little bit clumsy. time to time but I am a dedicated single wing uh, shaver I mentioned the soap is pretty good I have been enjoying it a little bit of water that I added to it is really adds a lot to the uh, post pass just right after the razor goes across it doesn't feel dry it feels moist and I like that a lot for the passes I'll check myself out here wrench the razor off put you down there for a second pretty smooth the razor is pretty darn sharp buzz so I think we did okay Just hit ourselves up with the little Dickinson's it has some uh, camphor added to it so it's kind of medicated 
That is a nice uh, almost menthol-y uh, fragrance to it. Didn't have as much alcohol in it as uh, Thayer's, but it sure uh, sure feels nice. And because I didn't do any damage to the hull plates, it did no stinging. Let's do a little powderage. This is Panade uh, Clubman, and uh, so after we've done the egg wash, we're here we're gonna put a little flour on. I was admonished for being a little liberal in my last shave and sending flour plop all over the bathroom here. Spouse unit got some on her uniform and she was not happy with me. I'm going to do the uh, aftershave. The fragrance of this aftershave is nice. It's an homage to a more popular scent, one of the big names. And uh, it's it's nice doesn't last very long but I did yesterday in the mail get a, a bottle of Sterling executive man which is an homage to the same scent uh, and that's should be it for today's shave thank you so much for coming by I enjoy our time together I'm Major Rich you'll find me on the shaving cadre and uh, all you guys out on uh, YouTube if you're finding me there like and subscribe if you're so inclined otherwise we'll see you next time bye bye